welcome to Hottie Toddy Homemade. I am your game day gourmet Betsy Kelly where I show you easy and delicious recipes for the right field, the grove, or any time that you are in the mood for party food. So today I'll be showing you how to make an easy and delicious antipasto, which is Italian for appetizer. And this recipe is really easy, really few ingredients, but everybody loves it because it's got a really nice blend of several different flavors. So for our ingredients today, we will need a pound of provolone cheese that has been cubed, a can of pitted black olives, a teaspoon of garlic, two cups of an Italian vinaigrette or salad dressing, a jar of quartered artichoke hearts, and a bag of pepperonis. Okay, so to begin today, we are going to take a gallon size Tupperware or some kind of container with a lid because to get everything blended, we're gonna have to shake it. And we're going to add our cheese. We'll just scrape it off. Our artichoke hearts. Our black olives. Set that down. Our pepperonis. And that's what's great about this recipe, is there are just different flavors, a lot of types, but it's so good and everybody will really enjoy this. So that to this we are going to take our garlic and add a teaspoon. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients to blend it together, you're going to take your Italian vinaigrette or salad dressing and pour it on top. And whatever kind of salad dressing you like, if you have a personal favorite, then that would be good. Any kind of nice vinaigrette would be great for this. It'll keep that nice flavor. Okay, so we have everything mixed. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Get that nice in there just to add a little bit of extra flavor. And just a touch of salt. But don't, you don't want to add too much salt because there's already a lot of salt naturally in the salad dressing. Okay, now I will put our lid on and here's the really fun part. We get to shake it up. Just shake it like that. Okay, now that it's all shaken and blended really well, I'll take the lid off and show y'all what it looks like. You have a nice blend of all of the different colors and it looks really good and it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid back on because to really get the maximum flavor out of this, you're gonna want it to marry in the refrigerator for about three hours. So I will put this in our fridge and we will come back and check on it in three hours. So while we're waiting on that, I will just clean up our workspace. And again, this is just a really great dish for any occasion. I mean, it just, you can dress it up or dress it down depending on what you're going to and who you are serving. Okay, well, I think in TV time, it has been about three hours. I have been checking on our antipasto and stirring it every hour. So I'm gonna go get out our final product. and it feels nice and chilled, and I know it is gonna be delicious. Now when you serve it, it doesn't necessarily have to be cold. Oh yeah, this looks so great. So I'm going to spoon some out onto my plate. Get a nice blend, a little bit of everything in here. Okay, so we have our antipasto on our plate. It looks beautiful, it is perfect for a single serving. And there are several different ways to serve this. You can serve it just like this and eat it with a fork, or you could put it in pita bread and make a sandwich because you've got your meat and your cheese and your vegetables. Or you could just take it and do it like a spread on a piece of bread or something like that. I really hope you get to and try and enjoy this dish. Maybe take it out to the baseball field since baseball season has started and the Rebels are doing so great. I'm sure if you bring it out to the right field, everybody will love you for it because the quickest way to a rebel's heart is through his stomach, so make sure you keep it hotty-totty homemade.